Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvaldo Green here and welcome to Heroic 1 Adventures. We're going to go through the entirety of Heroic 1 Tier 1 over here, beating every single sub boss and uh, at the same time beating boss Flash. And yeah, this uh, battle was done on stream because a lot of people were requesting to see this one, to see Raven with uh, Black Manta. And keep in mind, this is a 4 star Black Manta and a 4 star Raven, so this could go to much higher lengths, but still. I don't think this team is worth using just because Raven is so much better with King. I mean, don't get me wrong, her with Black Manta, especially I think if you do the special one with Brainiac, is most likely going to be an insane amount of damage. But it would need to be extremely high in order to actually beat the huge amounts of damage that King is going to be able to use on special 3. But yet again, that remains to be seen and tested with somebody with max artifacts, with somebody with a 6 star Raven, and uh, by somebody with a 6 star Manta. And that's, not, uh, that's obviously not me, as you can see here, sadly. But yeah, it is what it is, and uh, the fact that my Black Manta is so low star rating is that we'll have a very risky gameplay because our uh, uh, passive stacks will expire very soon, but yeah, that's as far as that dude's health went, and uh, that's the fight. Now we're flexing a bit over here with Atlantan Armor Rockman against uh, Boss Captain Cold, I have the Sword of Salvation on him, and some other artifacts on some other characters. And I couldn't really test out the uh, new artifact that I got for completing uh, the uh, normal. It's equipped for the passive stats, but honestly I don't think any of the characters that I used in this video are going to ever go below that threshold of health, where they would get that boost in attack and recovery. But yet again, it's equipped for the passive stats. At this point we're just bullying this Captain Cold combo, interrupting him all the way to the corner. Once he's in the corner he'll no longer be uh, able to do the jump attacks, so uh, that's where we're heading. Though yet again, I'm commenting on this one like this is a particularly interesting fight or a particularly inter hard boss to fight. Nah, my dude, this is just Captain Cold with the Atlantic Armor Aquaman against it. I know why I'm taking this one in particular so seriously, but yeah, I definitely did enjoy it. Again. Don't build your Atlantean Armor Aquaman as a damage dealer, you will regret it, but since it's done I might as well flex with it a bit. One more special tree should do it here. Again, Captain Cold is not really threatening, I think he's stunned you on tagging, but you just don't tag in, and there you go, you're not getting stunned on tagging. If you're not able to combo and drop down like you'll, you'll be fine regardless, this shouldn't be a threatening fight in any way shape or form, but there we go! Atlantean Armor Aquaman for the win, ladies and gentlemen! And uh, down Captain Cold goes. Now, boy, oh boy, do we have here a very interesting fight? Because I, I was just throwing some teams in there. I was like, oh, it's tier one. What can go wrong? What can happen? And uh, I have failed to notice that uh, boss screen arrow is immune to lethal and crits. And I put the bad ninja team against it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So the bad ninja team, if they are... Uh, Un unable to access lethals and crits, they are going to deal no damage because their whole their whole thing is centered around crit chance and crit damage. If we don't do le uh, crit chance, crit damage and lethal. If we don't do lethals, we can't increase our damage, our lethal attack damage. If we don't do lethal, we can't power generate. If we don't do lethal, the thing that I just did uh, over there with the special 2, I'm not gonna do for the rest of the fight because it's totally useless. This team in this state over here against this fight specifically is going to perform like worse than any of uh, other teams because they rely so much on little attack chance and little attack damage and I almost messed up over here this is going to be a very very close fight and if I I was so close to not winning it and to needing to use an additional pip Though at the end of the day, of course, it's just a game and it wouldn't have been the, the, the end of the world, but it's just tier 1 heroic, my dude. Not one shot in this dude is unacceptable. But yeah, the bad ninja team is tremendously nerfed if they don't have access to lethal. Like, they can do without crit, they dealt some uh, decent damage against uh, boss Superman Rise Krypton, but without lethal, my dude, then there's no point in having a Batman ninja team here. Like, literally, that Robin in there doesn't do... That's to zero things for me. If I didn't put that Robin in the team and just play the team like this, nothing would have changed. That Grot does reduce the armor with the passive, but does not generate power. So yeah, 
Like over here, like after one minute and a half, I realized that this might be a dangerous and a close one, and I actually started playing seriously, and I'm not getting, uh, I'm not messing up the combo interruption anymore. I was over here in full sweat mode, and I think if I played it perfectly from the start of the fight, we would have been able to kill this dude uh, with like 20 seconds left or something like that. But I figured out that we're in trouble a little bit too late, and um, it's gonna be a little bit of a rough one, a little bit of a close one. So yeah, if there's anything to learn from this whole video, the uh, the main thing that I want you to keep in mind is don't use the bad manager team against uh, a boss green arrow. It's not gonna be a good time. And also, don't be like Sigval. Please do read the characters, the bosses' descriptions before that you fight them, because it simply wrote over there no lethal and no crit, which is bullshit yet again. But uh, still, the, this uh, this is a, disa a possible disaster that could have been avoided with. A few seconds taken to read the what, what what the boss even does. But yeah, we're going to barely be able to scrap by in the last special tree. There we go. One, two, three, four, and all the way on the fifth hit of the special tree. Who that's that's not something that should be that close for a tier one boss, but yeah, I almost messed up big time. Begin. Now we're going to fight White Canary here. This should be a quick one. I mean, I'm just playing around a bit with her here. I, I just want to go three uh, disables and see how much damage we deal. I got a sword of salvation or reverse flash. Okay, one disable. There we go. And again, let me know if I'm an idiot uh, or she's actually not uh, easily combo interruptible. Because for some reason I thought that she would be combo interruptible and uh, every time I tried she would uh, counter attack immediately. Like over here it worked, but after this it will not, no longer work. She seems to have very fast attacks. And yeah, the nerf on Silver Banshee kicking in. Like, I'm so used to Silver Banshee. Like, the last patch, if you do remember, they uh, randomly added uh, an unblockable on her special tree. And I was like, oh, that's great. And now they removed it. So that was a bug. That's a type of bug that I really don't want them to fix. They, they seem to just be fixing the bugs that help you out. And uh, the bugs that are annoying and do, don't do anything for you are there to stay, it seems like. But yeah. Reverse flash in. Backing off, not even trying to come on shot her ass anymore. And Sora Banshee, and there we go, she died. A terrible death. But yeah, very annoyed at that uh, nerf on Sora Banshee because I simply got my face, uh, myself used to having uh, unblockable on the special tree. Now there we go, lads. The 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 high actually not the highlight of the video. This guy this guy will go down real quick. Like that. That post screen arrow was the highlight of the video because that was by far the closest and the most challenging fight. We're going with All Blades King here. Again, we used Raven with uh, Black Manta previously, though we, we didn't need Raven here. This 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 was an easy one. This was a very easy one. Like, I'm so happy that they did something very, very right about this raid. And the thing that they did very, very right is uh, the fact that they put... Uh, uh, two sub bosses in uh, tier th two bosses, two main bosses in tier one and tier two that are very easy to beat. And uh, by the point you reach uh, uh, tier three sub boss with a new account, you most likely already have your king unlocked. So uh, a lot of people won't have a problem with that. So yeah, out of everything they've done, the the good stuff, the bad stuff, I really appreciate this one that we have easy bosses in tier one and tier two for the new players who don't have king. That's that's a great job, my dudes. That's a great job. And yeah, this is almost over at this point. Dr. Fade back in. The good old infinite combo that sometimes doesn't work because they are trying to nerf it. One last special tree. Actually, not one last special tree because that one didn't crit, but the special one we should finish the job. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tier 1 defeated. And let me ask you a question. Are you excited about our rewards? Because you shouldn't be. Because when have I ever gotten a very good and exciting rewards on this channel? The answer is never. Always gotten shitty rewards and I even have two accounts so I'm getting in theory double the rewards I'm getting double the chances that you guys have to get something good because I, I do it from two accounts and it's still shit every single reward though yet again to be fair I, I have all the gold characters pretty much so there's not many drops that would be great for me but at the same time even if uh I always consider it like if I get, for example, less of Joker, that's useless to me, but that would have been a good job. Nah, not even that. Not even good jobs that I don't need. Only bad jobs, but yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.